Hey, what's up, nerds? Hello. Welcome to the show. I'm Alan Christian. I'm Gerald James. So we've got this information now. And this is huge because, of course, things have been dead for a while. We've been like, what's going on? <laughs> and then Microsoft pulled this, this weird move where these leaks start coming out. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. This is exactly how it went last night for me. I saw that people were leaking and I was like, okay, that's interesting. That's cool. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll check back on that in the morning. I woke up around 4 a.m. Just, you know, just randomly waking up as I do. Mm -hmm. And I decided to just check online. And yeah, about an hour beforehand, Microsoft had posted that they're like, let's just make it official. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that kills me is the dream I woke up from at four o'clock in the morning was a dream that I worked for like a gaming journalism company. Mm -hmm. And we were running around the office with our heads cut off because this huge announcement came out of nowhere in the middle of the night. So my dream told me this was going to happen. And lo and behold, it did. Well, I'm glad to know that you were in touch with the, uh, the other world of, uh, of gaming, I guess. CBD gummies laced with melatonin. That will do it. <laughs> that, that'll get you the scoops. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I think that this is, I think this is hilarious uh, because this is not, I mean, because what it strikes me as is what was your plan? <laughs> like, there was none. They're like, we're just going to hold on to this, keep this close until Sony does something. Until they do something. We're not going to act first. We're not going to act first. We want to be the saviors to come in and be like, two ninety nine US and just walk away. Yeah. And now that was blown for them and kind of puts a smile on my face. Yeah, like two months ago, you could have told me they're waiting to see if they got some wiggle room on the price, see what their competitor's doing. But now, like, it it had to have been set in stone by now already anyway. So right. what the hell were you waiting for? <laughs> like somebody to leak it? They, they wanted an inevitable leak. They wanted that hero moment. They wanted to be able to come out and just like do that and get that round of applause in an empty stadium these days, I guess. But that's just, I'm pretty sure that's what they were waiting for. And this, I mean, of course, there's a lot of good press around it. And I've got my feelings. And, oh, boy, this is probably the episode where the much brains break up. I don't know which side of the it's, screen you're going to be on. When no, we go live look, we probably disagree, but it, I don't give a shit <laughs> at the end All of right. the day. <laughs> because uh, just, just a bit of a content warning for those of you out there who have reflux problems, like the type that wakes me up at 4 a.m., it's going to get spicy. Oh, yeah. I'm certain. I'm certain. Um, I just, real quick, uh, there's plenty to talk about here, but how long until Sony responds? Days. Days. Before the weekend. Yeah, they've got this prepped and ready to go. They, yeah, they, they always have. This is, this is exactly what they wanted because not only did we get you know the confirmation from Xbox on uh, Lockhart, which mm -hmm. is now officially Series S, as we all fucking mm -hmm. knew it would be. Not only do we have that confirmation, but the same leaks have the price point for the X. And even though they haven't verified that, so they're letting that. I think that's why they came out and it's like, yep, yeah, no, that's real, that's real. Pay no attention to the five hundred dollar oh, price point. For did the they X. not just finally verify that five hundred dollar price? No, point? Oh. no, no, no. I they thought, steered I the conversation towards the S. Yeah. I figured so, they would because that's – how is that price point of $300 interesting or a selling point if you don't have the comparative price points? Right. Whatever. Now now you actually look like more of a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Big, like to, to be like, here's our $300 system instead of being like, yes, here's the whole package. And that, and that $300 system is part of it. Now the narrative – for I mean, not for people like us because we're following this and know what to expect anyway. Mm -hmm. But the narrative for the broader market is: you showed us the cheap system, and now you're showing us the expensive one. What the fuck? Why do I want that? I feel like I'm I'm getting blackballed here because I mean, if you look at any product announcement ever, 
Apple does this every year where they're just like, here's the motherfucker that's this much money and here's the budget for it. <laughs> like, yeah. And there's a reason for that. There's a psychology to that. And and that's what they were going for until this leaked. Because yeah. if you, all we've heard, is, oh my god, this is why I love this and hate this so much at the same time. All we've heard for the past year and a half has been the world's most powerful console. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. But then you're gonna launch it at the same time as the world's weakest next gen console. Yeah, <laughs> I just I don't know, man. That just the drop. The drop with the Series S here is that is as a cushioning blow to to uh, the price dropping the price on the world's most powerful console. Yeah, that's the whole point. That is the point. That's what this is. It's a budget console, and if we don't know what the fucking budget is for the big one, how is this appealing? And but what we know. So far, because they they put out that video that was like, this is what I can do. This is next-gen gaming for only $300 in our smallest Xbox yet. Great. Um, What's inside it? What concessions have been made? Because looking at this thing, my my, uh, Xbox One X is stronger. Like it doesn't have ray tracing, it doesn't have NVMe. This but does aside have from ray- that, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, aside from that, it's the same damn thing. Uh, it's a better chipset. Uh, it's a better processor. Um, it doesn't have the teraflops, but it, it's a better processor. Um, it's a better processor, better graphics. Uh, it it is better than the X. It will outperform the X in most uh, you know reasonable aspects that you you could expect from it. Um, but it's not appealing. Like, I mean, I, I think what's here is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think uh, I don't think that it's going that much here is going to bottleneck or hamper uh, the games that they want to put out. I think everything should be perfectly scalable, especially since they're all going to go on PCs anyway, and you have to worry about scaling for PCs anyway. That's I think that's fine. Um, but I think that, man, I really thought they confirmed that $500 price point because Mm -hmm. that was part of the leak and everyone I've heard talking about it since has just mentioned that $500 price point. We can pretty much be guaranteed that it's a $500 price point for the, for the series X, which is good. Mm -hmm. Like that is what they should have been shooting for. No, that that's the expected. Yeah, that's we were exactly all a little worried expected. that it might push to six hundred because it seemed the specs on this. I can see them asking six hundred for it, but five hundred is where they need to be. Um, After that Nvidia conference, it makes sense that this is a five hundred dollar console. Yes, it does. Once they <laughs> said that, I was like, yeah, okay, now I see where it's going. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, because if you ask six hundred and like. A thirty eighty is gonna retail for seven hundred. Yeah, sorry, dude. Yeah, I mean, sorry. I'm already there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm already as much as I, I I say that I'm in into Microsoft and dig their services and all this. Mm. I'm not buying an Xbox after after um uh, after I saw that the thirty eighty was gonna be at that price point. Granted, it'll probably be hard to find for the next year, but um I wasn't planning on getting something till late next summer anyway. <clears throat> so after that, like I, I'm, I'm PC master race on that anyway. And I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not buying an Xbox because that's the only point in the Xbox, which is a good point. A lot of people I see like, why wouldn't you just buy a PC? It's like you could have said that about the last gener, both yeah, of the consoles in the last generation. Thing. Like, but um, <clears throat> yeah. So <sighs> get spicy. I, I think I've Here's... had my rage. <laughs> Here's where you're wrong. Okay. This is going to hold back the games that they can release on the world's most powerful console because, like, my, my roommate, bless his heart, I love him to death, and he's pretty knowledgeable about this gaming stuff. I'm probably going to make him come on here one day. But he and I got into a heated debate earlier because he's like, this is what we've been doing for the past five years. Everyone's had to make games that could, you know, conform to the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X. And that's true. That's fine. However, 
it had to conform to the Xbox One. So doing it mid-life cycle, yeah, you're still playing the same games. It's mm -hmm. fine. That's understandable. But now you're starting off a console cycle by handicapping your developers and making them so that they can't use the full extent of the power. Because what if someone wanted to take that power and not just make it 4K? What if they wanted to take that and do something more with it? Now they can't. Their hands are tied. And they're like, well, I guess all I can play with now is going to be the resolution or the frame rate. And you'll see that affect games on the Xbox. And because of this, I think that what's going to end up happening, and yet again, like I said, I, I, I'm a Sony guy. I love Sony because it's just where I've been all my life. But I want Microsoft to fly to make sure that, you know, Sony has to keep working hard to be able to beat them. Mm -hmm. But Microsoft has pretty much come out and said, you know what? go ahead and make Sony your main platform so that you can scale it up to our platform. And that's exactly what's going to have to happen because if you put something on a PlayStation, and this, this might even explain why Bethesda's like Deathloop, Ghostwire Tokyo, we're putting them on PlayStation because you've got one spec to work for. Mm -hmm. That's it. Then you can do your PC port. Now they're going to have to do the PlayStation version and then in the PC port, make the PC port alongside the Xbox port. And let me tell you something about PC ports. Half the time, if they're coming from a console based, like they start on console and they get ported to PC, it sucks ass. So they have, by making these two different SKUs with two different powers, and yes, you can argue that Microsoft has released two SKUs at launch before. That's only affecting things like memory or if you want to, uh, the way media is read. Mm -hmm. That's not affecting the power of the console itself. Mm -hmm. So this is going to severely hinder the games that we're going to see probably across the board for this generation because they've decided that even though they can make a powerful console, they want to make the console for the everyman as well. So now they're trying to have their cake and eat it too, and it's not going to work out. Um, not unfair. Uh, those points aren't unfair. But you are um, seriously disregarding the lack of imagination in game development. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because there's been so many opportunities over the past uh, 15 years to do uh, innovative things with, uh, with, processor, with processor speeds and like the actual technology available. Mm -hmm. And all anyone does is make it prettier. So... Who gives a shit? All See, I, the next gen of games is just going to be the same shit and, and scale graphics back and forth. I do have another point, though, uh, but make your point. No, I was going to say that for me, every generation that I've gone through, with the exception of, I think, this last one, because I couldn't really tell you where the point was, where it's like, that's next gen. But going from even the PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2, it was Dynasty Warriors. That was mm -hmm. the game that got me. I don't even like the Warriors series, which... <laughs> Yeah, I'll talk yeah, about that you've later. got some talk about that. But uh, just because I was like, oh my God, you can run across this entire battlefield. You can do all of this stuff. There's so many enemies. You mm -hmm. can, this AI is amazing. And then from the PS2 to the 360, because oddly enough, I adopted 360 before I came on board for the PS3. So did I, yeah, the <laughs> PS3 was trash at launch. But the thing that got me was whenever I was watching Dead Rising, whenever I was like, holy shit, look at all them zombies. You know, it's not like, oh, look at how beautiful those zombies are. It's like, look at the AI that they've got going into each individual zombie on screen at the same time. And yeah, it's zombie AI, so it's not like it's very complicated, but still, they're all acting independently. That's the types of leap that make me think we're in the next generation. And who's showing you anything for the next generation that makes you feel that way for either of the systems? Sadly, and it's really weird to say, the only thing that's giving me that same type of feeling is coming from Sony right now out of Ratchet and Clank. And, and Ratchet that's and because Clank. Because the Rift, Rift stuff. Yeah, and that, but that's not even like sheer processing power. That's, that is their ability to load things in quickly. Right, but then again, it's still quicker than NVMe, you know, SSD. Yeah, sure. God, I hate alphabet soup, but still, <laughs> it's, you know, they're, the way they've worked with the thoroughput or the 
throughput on that is what really is making me think that's next gen. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I, it's on paper, it's the less powerful system versus the Xbox Series X. But I feel that there's going to be more you can get out of it because of that. Uh, in, in some ways, um, but no. My my point is is that that is that's the most impressive next gen thing is um, <laughs> the, its ability to access that SSD and load it into memory and fast. The the mm-hmm. the throughput on that is the most impressive thing. Nothing about um, nothing about sheer processing power is is there. No. I mean, I'm sure a good processor helps that. It's all it's all one thing, you know. Uh, it, it's all the same, the same system going for, towards the same goal. So yes, a fast processor at its core helps those things, but that's not. We haven't seen anything where you're just like, oh my god, that needs a hell of a processor. That needs twelve teraflops, right? To to really push that, and. You know, it's. I think that this thing's going to be fine. And my main point that I wanted to get back to uh, earlier, I don't think that every game is going to have to work for both. It will for a while, but with the way that they're doing this, these series with the... Um, what do they call it? Xbox? Uh, was it All Access? Is that what they call, they're calling this program? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, they. I think they did. Uh, I think that was part of the leak. I don't know if they announced uh, if they made the announcement announcement. But the Xbox All Access is where you're buying your console oh, yeah. like you buy a phone. And it's I genius. Think it genius. I say that might with sarcasm. Be <laughs> you say it with sarcasm. But it might be. It's a model that people understand. Anyone who has the credit to finance a console either already knows about credit cards. It's interest-free. Or they're not going to qualify. If you have the credit, I don't know what their credit check is (laughs) is going to be like. I don't know what their, their limit is on there. Right, uh-huh. but I mean, they're not just going to hand it out to someone who's like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay you every month for that. Even though, granted, they could break their console from afar if they refuse to pay. So maybe it could work. Maybe. And they could just be the weirdest loan sharks ever sending <laughs> out like a attack to your system. But Maybe. The validity of the model uh, and how well it will work for them, I think, is up for debate. But my point is, is that model is done in a very specific way in the mobile market to force upgrades. Yeah. And, and you think that we're going to see the Xbox Model 3 next year? I don't know how quick years. they're going to turn it around, but I think you will eventually... Uh, they've, they've pretty much said that they're sticking with the series line. So yes, I think you will see, instead of like one mid-gen refresh and then another console generation... I think we're going to see it grow and grow. I think that they're very content with their architecture and they will make incremental changes and they will sell you those upgrades. And soon enough, I think maybe within, and this is wild speculation, so don't make your purchases based on on what I'm saying. Uh, <clears throat> but I think within a, a, you know four or five years, you're not, go- you're not going to see them limiting things to where they have to work on the uh, series s and you know because i mean there's plenty of apps if you've got a five-year-old phone there's plenty of apps you can't get you know Uh, that's and we've talked about this before we've talked about the fact that microsoft seems way too consumer friendly right now and we're waiting for the other shoe to drop And if that's where that shoe is coming from, is that they see these as upgradable and disposable, then dear God, that I'm going to riot in the streets. Who have they said their competitors are? I know. I know. That's the first place my mind went when you started talking about this upgrade path. I, um, I can't say that I 
absolutely hate that idea, but I'm very cautious of it. And again, like I'm not getting into this loop anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, they've, they've pretty much said that, Hey, if you got a PC, you can be on our team. (laughs) It's like, okay, that's fine. I'll do that because I know where that's going. Um, uh, but I mean, mm, the thing about it is Microsoft is, is playing Microsoft is playing the uh, playing this like Wayne Gretzky played hockey. Okay. They're trying to go where the puck is going to be instead of where it already is. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is that Sony is playing this like they're a fucking goalie and they know that the puck is coming there anyway. Yeah. So, uh, like, I don't, I don't understand necessarily their um, excitement to do away with the the old console model, the old way of doing business, because it's fucking still working. Why get money only once when you can get money all the time? Just like Games Pass. Sure, but I think you can still do all of those things and all of the service things and still play the console game like you have been. I mean, maybe not like they have been. <laughs> <laughs> but it's working. The The PS4, the fucking PS4, which if anything, I thought this generation would be the one to drop off since mm-hmm. nobody wants blu-ray players and shit anymore but the ps4 is one of the highest selling consoles of all fucking time it's in nine digits i don't i don't know how it got there but yeah it looks like it could surpass the ps2 eventually and yeah that's which insane wild that is absolutely insane because people were by literally buying the ps2 i mean some people might think that i've been dismissive about you know ps oh that library is so sale. good though yeah, 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 it is, but uh, but I've, I've said that a lot, the DVD and Blu-ray player abilities of those moved a lot of units, and I mm-hmm. think that's very true, but PS4, without that, I mean, granted, of course it can do those things, but without that being a major selling point, is far surpassing them, mm-hmm. so the console market is as strong as ever, the PS4 is a nine-digit seller. The Switch looks like it's poised to be that. In the same generation, you may very well have 200 100 million unit consoles. Mm-hmm. Which is insane. And, and yeah, again, we've talked about Sol- our Nintendo seemingly happy with second place, but if second place is not some of the money they have been, then yeah, I'd be happy with it too. Yeah, exactly. Because, uh, I mean, they're, they're not taking a loss on anything. They're, <laughs> no. they're breaking money in. They... <laughs> For for all this, Nintendo's in second place. Nintendo is a lot richer than Sony. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but no, my point my point with all that being that Microsoft being like, well, we're gonna change the, you know, we're gonna get ahead of this and we're gonna change the game, or you know, we're this is where the, this is where the 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 market's going. It's like, what evidence do you have of this? <laughs> <laughs> they have the worst speculation teams in business. They're I, like, like, you know what? Eventually, you're just gonna like you're gonna lease your TV. Why yeah. would you buy your TV? <laughs> just pay monthly. Just lease it out. <laughs> when it's done, turn it back in. Get another one. We've said it before, and I'll say it again. Microsoft is either brilliant and and mm-hmm. is anticipating the market and def- redefining the market in ways that we couldn't have imagined or they are misunderstanding it terribly. Mm-hmm. And, and just just the gall of them to try to have both the world's most powerful console <laughs> and the world's cheapest console. <laughs> At the same time, it's like, <laughs> dude, there's been a reason we've always had to pick one. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> At that point, I feel like you're competing with yourself. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. And yes, it's cool that there's going to be, there are going to be, be, be people out there 
who straight up want that Series X. They want the strongest, most powerful refrigerator they can put on their desk. Mm -hmm. And a little bit, that's kind of me. And that would have been me if they haven't already told me that I can just play all their exclusives on my computer or quite honestly, probably from my Xbox One X whenever they launch uh, that service. Yeah, the uh, X Cloud. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big thing. <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, you know, I can just I can play things on PC, and I can just you know I can do X Cloud for my uh, for my One S as far as I can tell. And, and you might I, be right. I mean, because that kind of makes sense whenever you're looking at things from this viewpoint of a 512 gigabyte sol- or solid state drive in that thing. That's that's so small. That's that is not AAA good. games. Yeah, that's not good. Um, but if they're seeing it as like you're gonna have a couple of games on there, everything else you're just gonna stream. Who cares? Now I can see them in the future being like, yeah, you can play this on your Series S, but you better have X Cloud. Yeah, you know you're not gonna get the support for it unless you unless you're hooked up to uh, to our cloud servers. That might be the long play. God, that frightens me. <sighs> We're not there yet. I'll, I'll tell you right now, I tried playing some Borderlands 3 on my Stadia earlier today just because I was like, you know what? The load times <laughs> were much faster on Stadia. But it's just, I still was getting kind of laggy and droppy, and it's not bad, but it's not good. Well, we're certainly not there yet, but I think that they might be anticipating that we will be in three to five years. By the time people are making things that the... Uh, the uh, Series S really can't pull off. They have might... they have they heard about U.S. telecoms? <laughs> I mean, Jesus, no, they're not going to give us the type of internet we need for that. Uh, I mean, some of them are moving more and more that way, and I think if cloud gaming becomes a big thing, they're might be a bigger push for that because a lot of the fiber optic networks, like I know AT&T's fiber optic network, if you get their high speed, if you get gigabit uh, internet, you don't have a data cap. Right. So, uh, I, I mean, I think that is the way things are going, especially once people are mostly on, you know, fiber directly to the, to the home. Uh, there's really no, I mean, there's little reason for the data caps we have anyway, uh, but once you have data to the home, or once you have fiber to the home, there's almost no reason except greed. Yeah, but I mean, they stopped rolling out fiber at the pace that they were once they reached what they required for the government subsidy they received. Sure, uh, but I think that there's, uh, I, I think that the only option is to expand. If you're if you're doing that backbone, nobody wants to be servicing copper lines in 20 years, you know. Fair. <clears throat> but yeah. So I mean, I think that that the problem is the problem is that Microsoft's strategy is so so left of center that I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do no one does and Phil spencer doesn't fucking know. they <laughs> i feel like that they have a long game and they've they've gotten to a point with me where i'm like you are being too consumer friendly and it scares me and i don't want it anymore <laughs> You know, <laughs> like, just give me the bad shit other yeah. than the microtransactions, which are in every first party title now. But yeah. You know. yeah, give me your your give me your business model. Let me know how you're making money so I can know what I'm getting into. I don't want to invest in your platform and then get fucked. Right. I mean, it, it's you know it, what? It's a it's unsettling. I've solved the problem. Yeah, I've solved the problem. All they have to do is just make this a computer as well, do all of your searching, everything from it, and then I consent for you to sell all of my data and you give me this box for free. There you go. <laughs> Done. Because you know what? You're going to do that shit anyway and I'm not getting anything out of it, so we'll make a deal. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it. it's, you know, 
anytime something seems too good to be true, this is not a new axiom. This is not me dispensing wisdom. This is <laughs> age old shit. Anytime something seems too good to be true, it, it is. is. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so Microsoft has really hit that point with me where I'm just like, hmm, I don't trust you right now. i mean granted i see that you you appear to be a nice old man and you are giving me ice cream and that's a nice van you've got there but something bad's about to happen yeah at the end of the day i kind of like phil spencer he seems to be the best person that they've ever had leading that unit Mm -hmm. um but never forget just because this is the xbox division never forget that this is motherfucking microsoft one of the worst companies to ever exist on the face of the planet. <laughs> I'm going to st- step back for a second. I want you to go off on a tear. Explain, for those who don't know, why they're the worst company on the planet. Do we have ours? Do I have my <laughs> notes? <laughs> Does anybody need that explanation? I just don't want anyone going into our comments and screaming, why would you say that? What's your base for that? Because, yeah, there's basis for that. There's basis for that. Oh, We're yeah, not hit me up in the up. comments because I will give you links and I will give you well-researched essays <laughs> as responses. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not qu- I didn't quite – honestly, I didn't expect to go into this being as anti-Microsoft as, as I am right now or as anti-Xbox. I thought we were going to fight. But, yeah, you've just been like, yeah, you're right. They are fucking themselves, aren't they? Yeah. Now, I don't hate this idea as much as you do. No, I, I the, here's the thing. If this came out, if this was a two ninety nine motherfucking powerhouse, yeah. I would throw my hands up in glee. I would be ecstatic. But I'm afraid that's not what it's gonna be. This is the compromised console and it's gonna compromise the rest of their output. I'm I'm not as worried about that as you are. Um Still, it's not not to say it's not a valid concern. It is. Mm. Um, But that's that's not what bothers me as much as just like digging in a little more and making some, you know, not too illogical leaps about what what this says about their future business model. (laughs) It's kind of just got me hot under the collar. (laughs) I just... But I mean, so you're... You're kind of hypothetically pissed at them for what they're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a little, but also, also again, it's the main thing is the if it seems too good to be true, it is. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I because I'm telling they, you right now, they're, they're just going to pull the Master Chief Collection off of the uh, the Xbox Live Store on March 31st, <laughs> and that'll be it. That's a different conversation. Uh, we already had that conversation. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Game Pass is not going to be the money maker that they think it is. Or maybe it's going to be exactly the money maker that they think it is, and they are waiting to fuck us. I mean, something has to give somewhere. There has to be some place where they say, okay this is how we're making money because they're not a charity. No. Like show me, show me your profit model (laughs) and I will trust you enough to get into your services. We have to buy stock. Yeah. We have to buy stock so we can get on these like board calls and just see what's going on. (laughs) Damn it. I mean, investor investor calls for 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 companies like this leak all the time um i know i just i i don't know man like maybe somebody can set me straight like feel free to disagree in the comments like this is (laughs) they will (laughs) they will because understand that this isn't me wanting to hate microsoft uh i mean i hate microsoft but i like the xbox division mostly so this isn't me wanting to shit on them. This is me. This is stream of conscious me realizing that this might not be that good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I did not know that's what we were going to be doing today. I didn't either. I thought that you would be like, it's a $300 console. And be like, yeah, that's a piece of shit. And you're like, yeah. oh. <laughs> I really don't think it's the piece of shit you think it is, but uh, I don't know. I just I don't know. It, it's bad marketing. It's bad messaging to not come out and confirm the price of your um, uh, your big one, especially when it was part of the same leaks that you just fucking confirmed. Yeah, it's it's bad messaging. Um, to me, honestly, that as a move makes me go. All right. Well, maybe there isn't a master plan. Maybe they just don't know what they're doing. It'll, it'll be hilarious if Sony responds and says, "Yeah, we're five hundred and four hundred for the discless model," and they're like, "Ha, gotcha, four hundred for the Xbox Series X," and then they're just it's, eating all of it. Oh, it can't happen. It can't happen. This this isn't like this isn't the Wild West. Like this is, uh, you know, maybe a Sega could have done that back in the day. And did do things like that, uh, but this is this is a huge corporation, and their uh, profit projections for this thing are already on the books. Mm. They've known what they're going to sell this shit for for months now. You know, there was no play here after you know about midsummer, about mid mid year. There was no changing things yeah you know those those things have been locked they've just been they've been playing a marketing battle is all it's been because there was never any hope that you know after a certain point and we're well past that point there was never any hopes that they were going to hear hear what the other guys were doing and be like all right we're changing our plans yeah. here we go especially if they were going to have a competitive price like five hundred dollars anyway which, you know saying that as a competitive price is irritating, but you know, it's it's fine. Uh, (laughs) I don't know. It's, I've got everything out. I needed to say about it. I feel that this is bad for gaming as a whole. I feel that it's going to stymie this generation of consoles. And uh, it makes me sad. I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. And that's all I have to say about it. Uh, again, I do have to disagree with that point. I think what's going to stymie the uh, this uh, generation of consoles and the games that come out on it are um, uh, uninspired, uh, uninspired games from uninspired people churning shit out for a profit because that's all you get. Those are the only people that make cutting-edge things anymore. So the people that actually do have the resources, the people that actually have the resources to make games that take advantage of of this kind of processing power are just going to make the same fucking focus group shit that they've been making for the past 15 years. So I'm, I'm not that worried about that. Don't be worried about uh, innovation being stymied in the gaming market. It done been dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's why, like, some of the most innovative things you see are from, like, a handful of people making things that don't push hardware, that, you know, they don't push hardware specs. Here I was just thinking about Fall Guys 2 being 500 players, and you're like, whatever. They can do that in the cloud. I know. It would have been made perfect for Stadia. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe, if Stadia wasn't a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, go figure. Google sucks again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So uh, if you don't have anything else, we can go ahead and wrap this up. And... Real quick, real quick, a message to people that um, that are um, what you would describe as fanboys, people uh, defending one console or the other. Tech companies are not your friend. They are garbage people (laughs) they're garbage people selling you things for money so don't be so quick to defend them they they already know that even though hashtag like 1980 Fortnite was that what it was god fuck them anyway (laughs) people already know these companies are garbage it's not about defending them so much as feeling justified in that purchase yeah that's like you know what i didn't spend five dollars on a bunch of trash i 
this is great. I don't know why anyone would say otherwise. You know what, guys? I've been buying tech for most of my life. Let me tell you, sometimes you buy a piece of shit, and you mm-hmm. just need to embrace it. Make videos about it. Don't be so attached to your stuff. Just sell it when you don't need it anymore. Or burn it. (laughs) (laughs) It's more cathartic. (laughs) (sighs) Anyway. So, yeah. I mean, rage down below. Uh, (laughs) Let us know what you think. Um, We'll be happy to have more conversations with you there. And uh, I might be pliable on some things. Don't Again, most of this just came out as we were shooting this. I mostly expected to sit back and let Gerald uh, <laughs> let Gerald rage. So, um, and yeah, again, myself, I'd love to be eating crow in a year. I say that about every negative thing I say. I Absolutely. want to be wrong with everything. I, I want, want to, to like wrong. everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by God, my fault. it's not my fault. So much sucks because I just want to like everything. <sighs> if I liked everything, the only problem would be figuring out how to buy all of it. The only problem would be, why would we have this channel? Yeah. <laughs> it's um, just unboxing videos at that point. Yeah, I'm not even good at that. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to open things. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great conversation, Gerald. It's happy to do this with you. Um, we, we might actually turn something around within a, a 24-hour period. I think we should. Uh, yeah. I People need to hear what's really happening. Yeah, they can't get blinded by the people out there screaming that this is the savior of the next gen consoles. It's garbage. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, do that like thing, do that subscribe thing, do that dislike thing if you really hated this, because I know you will. Um, <laughs> and but if you did like it, just just try to like it to outnumber the people who dislike it. Just. just my own vindication. Yeah, and if you did like it, hit that subscribe. And if you didn't like it, hit that subscribe. Uh, and we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.